This is a, a Nox by Hygienox pump. It's an internal seal pump that is great for high temperatures and sugary solutions. As with all the pumps, it's a good idea to maintain it regularly. I'm going to show you how to do that. Once you get the hang of it, the process takes about 10 minutes. First thing I'm going to do is remove the safety guards. Then I'm going to take the casing off. 14 millimeter wrench. Undo the clamp. And then pull the casing forward. There's a no ring seal right there. Now we have to do this impeller nut. Rotate the shaft until I can find these flats, top and bottom. And then I can put the wrench on there to hold the shaft and do the nut. There we are. 22 millimeter socket on the impeller nut. And then, there we go. Nice and easy. Take the impeller nut off. And pull off the impeller. Sometimes it sticks, so you have to give it a little force. Remove the back plate and the internal seal. So we push the back plate forward, it'll push, the, help us, there we go. And the seal will turn and sort of pull off gently. And there's our rotating seal. And I carefully pull the back plate without banging it. There's the seal in the bottom there. Just push the, the stationary seal seat out of the back of the back plate and I just put my thumb on the back here and push and there it goes. So I'm gonna put the seal in the back here and then I just gonna lay this flat on the table and push it down with two fingers. So I'm gonna put the back plate with the new seal in Carefully not to bang the seal. There we go. Then I'm going to put the new rotating seal in. The seal face in first. Then the impeller. There's no key or anything lined up. It's just a friction fit on taper. Then the nut with a O-ring there. I'm going to find those flats on the shaft again my big wrench. There we are. Get the 22 millimeter socket on the front. There we go. We'll put a little bit of lubricant along that O-ring. Put the casing back on. Sometimes just a little tap on the top will make the clamp go a little tighter so you can get them. And then we'll put the safety shields back on. You don't have to over tighten these or you'll crack the plastic. We're done. Ta -da. As part of our maintenance program, we recommend that you always have an extra steel replacement kit on hand. See you next time.